But hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game! Are you ready? Are you ready for something amazing? Friggin! Yeah! I did it! I freaking did it! Kick an Allosaurus Gen 2 pack. We're gonna open it before the game breaks. We got some good DNA. We got some good books. I like uh, the spread's good because we need that, really. Uh, we'll collect that. And there it is, Giga Nodosaurus Gen 2. <laughs> now, if anybody knows, the Giga... Oh, no. Do we not get times three? Oh, that would have been so good. I would have got like 5,200 points. That's like a free pack. Damn. Yeah, before this, there's been... Um, they've been given like times four uh, bonus. And of course, when this clock's over, it's gone. Of course. Oh, would you believe? But yes, I've taken hours, hours out of my day <laughs> to just do this. Uh, luckily, where I am, uh, I sort of have a full day before, uh, you know, in Japan with the time difference. Because it actually is, it's the same time all over the world when this ends. Um, it's not like in Pokemon Go where events are local to the area. Um, so luckily, I have the whole day before the tournament comes out. Very good for me. Means I got more time. <laughs> but we, if you remember, Giganotosaurus from, well, has been in the game since the start. And this is what it looked like. Could you imagine if we got Giga looking like this in Dominion? Oh, oh boy. Well, anyway, now we actually have the one from Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, there's been a lot of Gen 2s. We've had uh, the Quetzal Gen 2 in uh and pyraptor gen 2 in jurassic world alive being the ones from uh and over after gen 2 i'm pretty sure from dominion so i'm hoping hoping that we get something similar um with the rest of them because we don't have the quetta gen 2 in jurassic world the game either or you know some other of the uh, dinosaurs but we do have the giga so we're gonna speed this up on 250 straight away because heck yeah we're going look at it oh it looks so good I love the picture for it. So they have been promoting this. It seems like all of a sudden it just came out of nowhere. But look at her, him. I don't know. And it seemed like with Dominion, they were just like, hey, look, a Atrociraptors. And they're gone. Hey, look, Giga. And it's dead. <laughs> like, at least with Indominus Rex and the Raptor Squad, they built up a little bit of, you know, the lore behind them. But with these guys, we never learned why the Giga was scarred. We never learned why the Atrociraptors were the way they were. They were just bred. It was so sort of briefly put over. But oh my god, this looks so good. I mean, we've already got the model in Jurassic um, World Alive. I'm just wondering if we have, like, the separate cut on the side of the face. It's actually quite dark, so I can't really see... Because uh, one of the sides has a clef. But oh, this is a different Giga. I don't have a surprise thing, so I'll just play this one. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, we need that louder. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so this technically isn't the Giga from Jurassic World Dominion because it does not have the clef on either side, I'm pretty sure. Now, that's probably because... The left and right side of this model are exactly the same. It saves time in the mapping and stuff like that. Um, to, you know, make one a little bit different, you'd have to then have a whole new side. But anyway, uh, you've got, like, bits of it missing on the, like, the back of the tail there. That looks cool. Um, and because this is a tournament creature, we have unlocked it. People told me that um, I made a mistake in my previous video. That is very true. <laughs> I do that quite often. Uh, that I got it wrong because... Toro was not a tournament creature, so I wouldn't have unlocked it, unfortunately. So, just like with Bumpy, I think it was. Maybe Bumpy was. Anyway, tournament creatures get unlocked. The season pass creatures do not. Uh, so, I've learned something today. So, let's feed the Giga. Mm, look at that. Uh, the mouth dislocates like a bloody snake. So, what they did in Jurassic franchises has not gotten right is how these creatures could dislocate their jaws. Like, <laughs> Hold on, let, let's see that again. Uh, ready for it? <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. But we will get level 40. Now, because this is a regular dinosaur, um, it's not a uh, like a character dinosaur, so it won't get the foam. Or not foam, the uh, steam. This will actually look different. So, and we're actually got some bonuses. So we can, you know, at least get four of them. Uh, we can get another one. 
And this is not costing us too much because at the moment we're saving 1,003, well, 700 DNA each time, which is pretty decent. And instead of it costing us 1,600 uh, bucks or something, it's only costing us 250 to get it to level 30. And whenever you get a new creature, guys, what do you do? That's right, you get it to level 20 because otherwise it's a waste. And because we, uh, we've waited a week since I did my last video, we've got our instant fuses back as well. So let's see, that's a level 10. That is a level 11. Ooh, it's going brown. Huh, you know what? I, I much prefer this. <laughs> this one looks way better, but oh, all right. Oh, that's a shame. But could this be the strongest non-hybrid dinosaur in the game? That would be quite interesting. And uh, we'll go to you to make you an instant fuse. The level 30 or 21 to 30. How does this one look? More brown? Oh, very brown. Good God. Okay. Um, we're, we're going a certain way with this. Gone are the unique colorings of the original. Now we have brown. <laughs> we have a muddy giga. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll feed you. I've got plenty of food, plenty of bugs. Um, unfortunately, in order to get this to level 40, we need to make another four of them, which means it's going to cost us like... 6,000 bucks-ish, and of course another, what, 25, 6,000, something like that, 25, 26, 1,000 DNA. But I love you guys, so we're gonna do it! Uh, we'll just have to, yeah, 1,600, Woo! Now the good thing is, uh, when it came, when it's came to this game, they have changed a lot of thi of lot of the things that made it fun in a way. So the weird glitches to get your dinosaurs underwater, I thought was cool, but they didn't think so, so they changed it. Um, oh yeah, one more, one more, <gasps> Moichi, Moichi. There you go, fourteen thousand bucks. Hasn't really hit us too much in the DNA and the book department. I mean, books kind of, yes, I suppose. But the DNA department, we are still going strong. I have been playing this game every day, doing the missions, getting the free books and the free DNA. Um, and actually this way, we can see a level 10, a level 20, and a level 30. If we really wanted to, like, cause there we go. We got the level 20. Yeah, you, yes, nom, 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 um. Gorgeous. Yum, yum. <laughs> Eat up, get pick it strong. <laughs> um, yeah, if we were to get another, uh, what is it? Well, we could even get another seven. Yeah, seven. We could get level 40, level 30, level 20, level 10. That was the original idea when I made this series. I was thinking if we get every dinosaur and then we can showcase, we showcase them all. But then the game decided to do this, which kind of allows you to showcase them anyway. The only problem is, I wish that after maybe 10 seconds, the uh, the details disappeared, a bit like it does on the normal screen. That way we can actually enjoy what this creature looks like without having a big text box over the side. Um, but maybe they'll add that, maybe Ludo will listen to me. It seems like a simple fix because you've already kind of got that in the other screen. So, uh, But we get some interesting facts about the Giga. Giganotosaurus Gen 2 has extremely powerful legs. Uh, allowing for particularly fast movements despite her huge size. Okay, it's a female. There we go. I've learned something. Hey. <laughs> uh, get some food. Uh, this one, we get more food. Giganotosaurus Gen 2 is a little bit gentler. Gentler than the Giganotosaurus. It definitely doesn't look. It looks more fierce. Uh, despite her slightly larger size, she is still a fearsome beast, though. So watch out. Mm, and the... Ooh, 100 bucks. I'll take that. Uh, the Giganotosaurus and the Giganotosaurus Gen 2 have the largest skull among all currently known theropods. All of them! Has a very big brain. Don't know why. Not much going on, maybe. <laughs> and we'll, we'll not spoil it. We'll not spoil Preview Evo 4 because we can get it. Uh, we will instant fuse this. So, again, we're not losing any books. We'd be smart about this. We're being the smartest big brain. And one more. And then we've pretty much got a free fuse if we want to use it on anything. Oh, it's a shame because I love the way it looks. If we kept that color scheme, that would have been so cool. Like, just maybe change the model a little bit, you know. But they've gone for a full-on brown aesthetic. But I, I just love the different colors that were in the original one. I mean, it's kind of still there. The aesthetics are there. But if you have a look, the scars are gone. They're sort of covered up. All of the scratches that made the original Giga 
design, unique in my personal you know, uh, opinion, are now gone. So now we, we don't have that. <laughs> I see no more. But we are about to see. I mean, we know for the longest time, Ludia, when it comes to level 40 hybrids, have just made them spiky AF. I don't know why. And there's one thing the Giga has going for it in its regular design is spikes in abundance. And now we are about to see what it looks like at level 40. Okay, let's see what the profile picture looks like. And it does. It has a, it has a horn. It has a horn. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Okay, well, here we go. Level 40 Giganotosaurus in Jurassic World the Game. The most anticipated dinosaur since Dominion in Jurassic World the Game. Here's what Ludia's take is. And it has huge eyebrows. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, it's a shame. I, You know what? I, I, I forget that they don't really do too much in Jurassic World the Game. I was expecting maybe a bit shorter, maybe shorter legs and, you know, maybe a bigger spine. Like a bit like a Dimetrodon or something. But you know what? It, it kind of now just looks like a dragon. Uh, <laughs> to uh, even forget this. Um, the modifications used by Jurassic World's geneticists increased the jaw strength of the Giganotosaurus Gen 2, resulting in a much more terrifying bite. Okay, because I'm assuming it had a weaker bite in comparison to a T-Rex. But there she is at level 40. And let's see what she looks like with her mouth agape. Nom, 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 nom. But I actually haven't been looking at the stats for the Giga. Uh, I've just been looking at the model. So at level 40, it has 3,620 health and 545 attack. So that's a lot of health. And you know what? That's not too bad attack. For, I mean, tournament creatures normally don't have the best stats. I'll be honest. The VIP creatures, however, that's where it's at. But 3,620 health and 545 attack? I mean, it's nowhere in the ballpark of a VIP, which usually has like 800 to 1,000 sometimes. I'm pretty sure. Although we will find out once we open this pack and have a look at it in the roster. Because I'm saying this and there's something in me, some deep down inside, is saying that actually, um, maybe it is pretty good. Also... I have just collected like two of the mo the monthly missions. Um, yes, it is the monthly missions and one weekly. So we're about to skyrocket through this. Now I don't have the the VIP pass. Um, don't know whether Ludia are going to give it to me or not. Not too fast. Uh, but let's have a look. Wow! Yeah, look at that. Okay, well we got a quarter of a million coins, but who cares about that? We've got 310 of the DNA. We've got 37,000 food. 65 VIP points. Ooh, look at this! A Rex rival park. Ooh, I kind of like that. We'll definitely place that down. That's a unique... Uh, I like it when they do unique decorations. Let's go to... Oh, we're on uh, Site B already. Right, here's where my decoration park. So we're going to you. Rex Rival. Oh, it's like a Dominus Rex and T-Rex. Oh, that's cute. You know what? Something that, you know, we don't do in this park anymore. And maybe some people will. They make a beautiful park. It would have been really cool to have... Um, you know, when this game was early, earlier on, uh, to have done like a live stream reacting to people's parks. Um, but I feel like that, that time is kind of gone, <laughs> but it would be interesting. I mean, now, you know, live streams, I'm, I'm much more, uh, prepared back when Jurassic World, the game first came out. Yeah. Oh, look, Blue's there as well. I just noticed that. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, I was, technology was like, oh, I don't know. I, I sit on my bed and record videos. <laughs> uh, but yes. So do we get anything else? It's saying I've got more to collect. But we do have a Beasts and Blizzards pack. I'm not going to get this one. Although, actually, maybe I should. Because if I get... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hold on, guys. To save myself. Oh, my. Okay, so now they're actually money. Wow. So for 64 actual pound, you get just a level 10 Scorpius Rex. <laughs> That's it. I was thinking it was like a level 40, but no. Just a level 10. That is ludicrous. Uh, we will quickly watch an advert and I'll be right back to open this pack. There we go. Don't you, you, through the power of editing, you do not need to sit through an advert. 
Trust me, you get enough of those on YouTube. I've actually just recently bought YouTube Red or Premium. It is a godsend. I have, I've, I can't believe I've been living my life without it. I'm like watching YouTube videos and thinking, there's no adverts here. It's brilliant. <laughs> it is expensive though, so <laughs> don't do it unless you, you know, you really want to. Now we've watched an advert. We've opened three card packs. And now when we go into, oh wait, I've already opened three card packs. Oh yeah, because we did the Giga, didn't we? Ah, ah, pish. <laughs> What's that next one that we get? It is a, oh, it's a micro DNA pack. Hmm, okay, how much should we get? Eh, What's well, a guaranteed? A thousand DNA. We get like 1,100. But actually, I think I I might have just had over 200,000 DNA. And now... Wait, where did the Giga go? Hello? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got a level 40. Now these... This was the reason why I kind of stopped doing Jurassic World the game. Because they were really hard to get. Especially to grind for resources. But actually... We've done quite well. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was I was expecting to take a big hit there, and we didn't really. Hey, Fesperderma! <laughs> Turned into DNA. Oh, he made food. <laughs> Turned into DNA. Yes, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, but let's have a look at where it goes in the roster. I know that's what you've been waiting for, haven't you? Uh, and I'm so stupid. So we got this. Here we go. You've got all the classics, yep, with thousands upon thousands of attack. And of course, I've done the, the tournament, which means I've had to use everything and use my speed ups as well. I think I did a little bit too much. I did 2,000 cups, and I think you need about 1,800. So, a little bit of overkill. Curve save them. Okay, here we go. We're looking at the level 30s. Look at that. Level 30 VIP creature already. 2,300 health and 1,375 attack. And now I'm just realizing why the heck do Concave and Pterodactylus have the same stats? Okay. Happy to Jurassic Park Builder. This continues to happen here. So, we're, here we go. We're looking at level 40 uh, tournament creatures and no sign of the Giga? Excuse me? What? Where is it? Oh my god! Okay, so... Wow, it is technically, apparently, one of the worst of all the not like the tournament creatures. Eops is pitiful, yet Eops has basically the same health and same attack. Wow, wow, it, look at that. The difference, even. Even Sonosaurus, you're, you've, you've given me facts about the Giga telling me that it has genetically engineered jaw muscles to make it stronger. And it has 545 attack. <laughs> oh, that's dis disheartening. Distraught. <laughs> but what we will do is we will use it. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's do, yeah, let's do a boosted um, a battle. So we'll do the do carnivores because that'll get us straight to it. Or it should do. Get, get, get us there quicker than me. We'll use you. And then we'll use some some of those guys. Now, I'm hoping there's no glacier creatures because I hate the glacier arena, but I do love the helipad. So what we want straight off the bat, nullify. I've got 99 of them. When did I get 99 of them? Uh, and then do we want a rally to give us 10% extra attack, which would be 54? Or do we want... Um, Alpha. So 54 attack or 100 attack. Do we want 500 health or 300 health? Yeah. So at this point, it's kind of tricky because we're not getting much. But you know what? The extra 200 attack turns Giga into a useful dinosaur. From 545 attack to 745 actually makes it very good. So through the mods, we can make this dinosaur all right. <laughs> Yes, there's no friggin' um, glacier creature. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I want to win with this bad boy. So we'll nullify his distraction. That's good. He won't, he won't do too much damage to us. Although he will because he does have 864. Okay. So, oh, I mean, this is a super, super duper hybrid. Um, I will go for one reserve because I, I can afford to take. Uh, I can afford to take two hits. And it, that... Point. I mean, the Argentinosaurus, I don't need to worry about too much. It's just this Tapijalo and the Carnoraptor, which are, which are pretty da damning. Um, we'll go for two block, one reserve in case of that. Yes. 
Still only taking two hits if worst case scenario happens. I was worried about that. We might have to fodder off a Guanlong if it does not attack. Um, uh, that's kind of not so good. Um, I'm going to have to go for three block and one reserve. Um, just in case it went for loads of reserves. Okay, it didn't. But it's still going to have like five. So again, worst case scenario, we're only taking two hits. Hopefully we only take two hits. That way we're going to have five. Um... I might have to fodder off a Grand Long. I want to see Giga's, um, like, winning animation as well as his 8 animation. We can definitely do that if we... Oh, there you go! 2,000 damage? Okay. Okay. Actually, the Karna Raptor does nullify our health, but we, we nullify it, so it's okay. So it's only got 300. So 1, 2, 3 kills it. It's going to have 4. So 2 hits aren't going to kill us. Uh, so I'm happy to go for 2 block. I think the 3 hits... And a push might kill us. Ooh. But we are getting the best rewards for this. I, we could do it. As, it the thing is, if if the Giganotosaurus dies, kind of screwed. Because Guanlongs are not carrying them, unless we kill a Carnaraptor. Then Guanlongs can actually kill the Argentinosaurus. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch is incoming. Switch is definitely needed. Uh, to see, now that I'm not nullifying him, to see split wound arrow. Oh, he does damage to everybody. That's not cool. Okay, so two blocks. He's got six. Dems attacking numbers. Anything higher than like five is attacking numbers. Six is definitely attacking numbers. Something's coming through. Very rarely does it know. So six. Four. Okay, so two block. I can work with that. We've got seven. And as long as we take out Carnaraptor, Argentinosaurus is going to do nothing to us. So that that's our priority is to take out this guy. So one, two... Factor in the two. And now it doesn't matter because it's going to do what? Like 10, what, 100 damage? So I could go for three reserves here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so it's going to have six. And then we're going to have a seven attack animation. Oh, it's also going to nullify. Do I get my health back? Oh, wow. The split wound is, is very good. Because... As long as you get rid of a nullifying dinosaur, you're going to do over half of the health disappear. Okay, here comes the six. Oh, 140 damage. I mean, I thought it was going to do 100. Right? Okay, so here we go. The se we're going to get the 7 8 attack animation as well as a victory. Oh, this looks glorious. Nyam. Yes. I love this arena, man. I don't get to see it enough. I really don't. Yeah, look at it. Beautiful. What a win. What a ripper. <laughs> now, what do we get for elite boosted prizes? <gasps> it's gonna be... You know what? Sukumimus, what, like a thousand free DNA? Oh, have... that's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, if, if this was back in the day and Jurassic World the game was the only game I was playing, I might just grind on that. <laughs> like, that is really good. I don't know what the prizes... Oh, it doesn't tell us. Okay, so what do we get? Chances are... So, what was the chances of us getting, like, a, a Sukumimus? 2% chance! Whew. We had more chance of getting the card pack. I'd rather have had the card pack, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, do we have anything to collect up here? No, we don't. Okay, so we've got a couple of things that we can still do. The Battle Stage Infinite is a very good one. It's a tough one. Amphibians are our best bet. Um, but I'm going to go for... Oh, Indoraptor really doesn't give us too much extra. Um, Armor Matter. Ah, we need a good amphibian. I really don't have any good amphibians. Uh, uh, you don't? Oh, it's a tricky one. There's no point putting in a herbivore, really. We'll just, we'll, we'll try this. It could go either way. I have to block. Um, because I think Gripo could kill me in two hits here. 5,200. Yeah, definitely. Oh, ho, ho, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go for two block. Here we go. This is where the strats come in. Big brain. We'll win this one. I'll win this for you guys. Ooh, okay, okay. So, he only went for one. So, he's going to have three. He'll have four. So, worst case scenario, I get hit with one. So, we're still good. Oh, we don't want... Worst case, then best case, are oh, they both the same? Nothing happens. Um, oh, actually, that was best case scenario. He goes for all attacks, so we can go for that. And there we go. Smooth sailing through now. 
We got rid of that griper, which was the problem with my carnivores. Now, it doesn't matter. He's, he's probably going to go for four. Oh! oh! It's so good. I love it. It's brilliant. Right, okay. So now one, two. Uh, there you go. There you go. Two attacks, four reserves. Boom. Well, baby, we got a free common pack, which is going to give us a bunch of resources. And it's going to give us loads of VIP points as well. Uh, the Indo oh bless look at that the level 99 indominus rex it looks really cool against a level 40 indoraptor jurassic world versus falling kingdom wait do i have a do i have a robot voice hold on one one of these is i don't uh, no 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 one no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of a radio. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, whatever. <laughs> Let's go for eight attack. Oh, I wanted to see how much it would have done. Oh, the fins, the claws, the teeth. Now, Can we just put it for the record? Indominus Rex would have obliterated the raptor in an actual fight. <laughs> 100 DNA, plus the common, so 350 DNA, plus a 100 buckaroos, a troganathus, which we can just fodder off, and of course, 130 DNA. Uh, sorry, uh, super uh, royalty points, that's VIP. So how long do we have left? We have 27 days in order to, oh, this is just unlocked, because this is a good pack to win. So I should probably really kind of work towards these, uh, in doing so, so we'll just go for something that can easy kill. I've actually got a team in here, which is a way, like, I don't have to worry about what they do. When I see this um, food battle pack, it's easy points. It's easy. Free. It's free food. It's free royalty points. Or loads of points, whatever. Um, and it's also a free, like, way to, or free token into that other one. So you, if you've got level 10, all you need, right, is a level 10 of that hybrid, the super hybrid. Um, you could get a three of any of these. If you had three level 30 Alangosauruses, you're set, pretty much. Because as long as you can kill a level 40 Utah Raptor in one hit, it doesn't matter. I would go for three Alangosauruses, but I've got three I've got three other things or two other things that do it just as good. And best case scenario, it as long as it leaves itself open for one hit to go through. Boom. And each time you do one of these battles, you also get, I think, 50 DNA? Yeah, you get 50 DNA, which is... It's, it's free. Why wouldn't you? Uh, actually, huh. Okay, and then I should really fuse those, like, another Lemurangchosaurus. Oh, we, we, have another, we have a free fuse, actually. Hold on. Let's let's go into the, the hybrids. And there it is. You. Um, how much is it? Ah, uh, you know, I'll put you in. You're only one hour. Um, ah, it's 31 bucks. Who cares? <laughs> we'll feed you up. I may as well use my free fuse while I've still got it, because it's going to take a week to come back anyway. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I need, I should have used my free fuse on that, should I? Uh, well, now it's going to cost us like 40. Oh, this did not go according to plan. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Uh, that is 94 bucks wasted. Well done, James. Well done. But we do have a level 30. And that is actually still not enough, I think, to kill it, which is a bit of a bucket. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't need to worry about that. We've got... Oh, fuse two terraces. Well, there you go. I didn't realize I even had that mission. Uh, and now we can jump straight back in. Uh, yeah, it's still not enough. That's... That's a shame. We got more health. And, I mean, pretty much... Look at the damage output it has in comparison and compared to my health. 774 health against 97 attack. There, 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 there is no way it's going to kill us. Uh, I mean, there's a 97. It swapped in. Two hits kill it. Um, and yeah. So I did not need to do any of this. Uh, you basically just watched me throw away bucks. <laughs> if it's level 40, then maybe. Alangasaur, that's, the, that's what I was getting mixed up. Alangasaur has just so much attack. Um, because it's all attack, and its health is pretty much the same as its attack. So, my bad. But there you go, you got your food if you do need it, which, you know, if you've just used something like I have, you might need it. But the 260 VIP points is really good. And then, oh, hey, it didn't do the glitch where it keeps on, like, going over and over. Uh, and then this one's also, oh, it's guaranteed 1,000 DNA and 200 bucks. 
Heck yeah, we're going to do this. <laughs> you kidding me? Uh, do I, yeah, there you go. That should be enough to kill it. Yes, it is. Boom. Let's do 200. I basically make all the books back I wasted as well as the DNA. And we're going to... Oh, even the DNA each time we do it. Uh, so now we need something with like a thousand attack. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll do. The first one kills it and it doesn't matter what happens here. Oh, look at the difference. These two dinosaurs are pretty much the same that I put in, attack and health-wise. But one's a level 40 tournament creature, and one's basically something I got for free just by collecting super DNA. Of course, of course, of course. Love to make my life better. Just a little bit more. Just, ooh. <laughs> I didn't really need to put anything in here. I didn't really need to use um, whatever, whatever that dinosaur is. I can't even remember. Um... But I'm not going to use it for anything else. We've got three carnivores now. I, I, I'm probably not. Yeah, I'm just going to put an Urlophosaurus because th there's no need for me to use this in anything else. I don't think anything is coming up. And by the time something does, I'll probably get it back. Um, and I know that it can kill everything in one hit here. And there is no chance of me being taken out here. I mean, you could go for your two attack. I mean, 341. It's respectable. That's a tournament creature as well, actually. That's level eight. And that's a tournament creature. 300. Giga at level 40 is 500. The Giga has gotten shafted, and I don't know why. It's, it's, you know, it was the poster child for Dominion. Why isn't it good in this game? <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> oh, make another video title. Do not get this hybrid, please. Oh, this one's a little bit trickier. Sure, we'll, we'll plop you in. Yeah, I, I, I don't need anything. Just kill it. Yeah, actually, you can do battles without putting in three slots. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, they're all dead in one. But what we want here... Hmm, I want to know how many VIP points we get for this. Because it gets doubled. Wish I had... Ah, I wish they just had it in... Like, I feel like the times four VIP points that VIPs got anyway. So good. So good. That, that felt like normal. Like, just seeing that many, like, ooh, get a good chunk. It's a shame that they, they deliberately stopped it before you got the pack. Because they know... They know that you would have got so much. You basically got a free decoration pack with that. It's not its not a creature. But then again, a level 10 VIP creature is nothing to be sniffed at. And there is Kappa Sutures, 1,000 DNA, 200 bucks, which we definitely need. Kappa Sutures, of course, which I think you unlock anyway. And there is 520. We're just slowly getting them. And you unlock Kappa Sutures. And they're two out of 28. Uh, so we need another 26. We could do this one. It always starts off easy. They give you um, the aquatics. You know what? Should we? Ah, because I love you. You made it this far. Go on. We'll do this one. I never do these. <laughs> uh, hold on. It's getting a bit hot in here. We'll, we'll turn on the fan. Uh, so. Ah, these are really good creatures, actually. What, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strategize here. I'll put you in. And then I'll put something in moderate, just in case things do go south. Um, so, the reason why I put this guy in is because it will definitely attack me and kill me. And then next turn, I've got three. And I know that two kill it. Maybe, maybe even three will kill this thing. Whoa, sorry, one. Yes, one will kill it. That's what I meant to say. One will kill it. Um, so we didn't even need that other thing. But, you know, just in case. It's been a while since I've done this aquatic battles and seen these creatures. Ah, Bonogamous. I see they still haven't fixed your teeth. They've got some of the models still um, bound to your uh, rig there. Uh, skin weight. Uh, so, so actually, it did a frick ton of damage. <laughs> I was not expecting it. At a half damage to do a thousand. Especially considering what the other ones were doing. And there it is. Ammonite. I, I would do that. I'm like trying, I'm like trying. I'm gonna shine with I'm like tonight. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Ah, that was a good one. Maybe I still have that. If I, if I if I do have that sound effect, I'll try and put it in. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Beautiful. Right. So that's see. That's the first one to lure you in. But then it starts to get a little bit tough. So, we're going to do a similar strat. Um, so, I mean, we want a good reef here, really. Uh, they do have a good Lee Zichthys. Um, I wish Lee Zichthys was a tank. I wish it was massive, but it's not. It's quite small. Um, and then, you know, just in case things go south, 
we'll have a we'll have something that's all right like the plotosaurus is good just to clean up in case things really do go south because i'm expecting that when hinodus comes in and they take the you know make the kill on the the moasaurus our um they're probably going to switch out to leads like these so yeah two hits one reserve and i'm pretty sure you know if it does switch out it's only got one attack so it can't kill me in one or if it goes for two attacks, it's only doing, what, like, 800, 900 damage? Oh, there's the swap. Oh, the 900 damage turning into 2,000. Good. Good lord. Okay. That was a fair bit. Uh, I think I can actually kill it. Ah, I have to go for everything. But, you know, even though we go for everything, three hits is not going to be enough from the Onkopristies. I forget. You know, the only reason why this thing is in this game, right, is because it was in that planet dinosaur. Or oh, Dinosaur Planet, the current documentary. We had the, the, the last depiction, really, of Spinosaur on two legs. Because I think a documentary now that puts a Spinosaur walking on two legs is deliberately, deliberately doing it wrong. They know what they're doing. They're just trying to, like, get views and clicks and stuff like that. Um, because I'm pretty sure it's... We, we now know it definitely wasn't. So this one is a tricky one because now... You see, they, they, they goad you in and, like, you're almost got the pack. And even then, it's not even a pack. There's like a there's a five percent chance to get a pack, but you're more than likely just gonna get a super. But really, we're doing it for the um, for the the extra little ribbon. The Fespoderma, Onchopristes, and Gilicus. Now, two of these creatures have really low attack, which is great. Um, we really want a cavern out there. We do have a hybrid. We do have this guy. We got one more battle after this. So as long as we save, like, the Dunkleosaurus or whatever, we're good. I feel like that is a decent enough team. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll do. As long as I save the Dunkleosaurus for the next one. So I'm going to go for one reserve. Because he, he, he could probably switch in his Ongapristis, but even the attack then isn't that much. Like, 1,200... If I level 300, it's it's not really that much. Um, so I'm going to go for one more block and two reserves. I know I can tank this. I'm tanking this stuff. The Orden Catfish. Yes, I remembered. Um, it's nickname because it, it, it just looks like it. So <laughs> it's hard to forget. Um, I'm going to switch here. And I want him to switch as well. I'm going to save this. And hopefully it switches to the fest. Or the... No, it doesn't. Oh... Oh, I survived with six! That is... That is very good. Okay, that was deserving. There we go. There we go. Wow, that couldn't have went any better if, I, if I'd wanted it to. I'll force you to swap into your Fespiderma. 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 Yep, there's the four. Okay, I really don't know why it went for that when I could have blocked for four. Um, but then that's it. That's game, uh, pretty much. I'll, I'll go one extra for the lulz, for the lulz. Because why not? And then Gilicus. Gilicus. Yes. You can't do anything. I mean, you can. You can kill me. You have killed me. But st still, you can't do anything. Look at me. Hynocoprion. I'm a hybrid fishy. And we'll we'll see it's eight animation. We'll slow that down. Oh, it's the, it's the twirl. Whee. And now you die. <laughs> it's so slow. And now you're dead. Look at it. It's so cutie. Dead, yeah. Again, a weird, weird hybrid, but you know, a nice one to see. Um, it's not like a helicopter with a slightly different body. It's completely different to helicopter. And the final one. Uh, oh no, that was not good. I was, I was hoping not two reefs, but oh yeah, there's reefs. Um. As long as I have more than 2,000 health, I'm pretty happy. Uh, U-Moon is good as well. We'll put a new moon. Um, we could even put Ophthalmosaur in, but I'd rather have the attack. Uh, I, I, I do not... Oh, oh no, the 10% power. Hey, I charged it. 32% before we... Um, before I plug this in. So here we go. Um, I kind of... I'll go for one block. I'll go for one block. Because I know one hit can't kill me. And I'd rather get the two reserves on the next turn. Ah, I wish I'd went for one reserve now. <laughs> I'd be in a way better situation. Okay, good news. It'll go for four. Because it knows I might have two block. Yeah, that's actually worked out in my favor. Because now I've got five. I think I've got five attack. 
Yes, yes. And I kill. Oh, that is gorgeous. I kill it in two. I was thinking maybe I won't. Um, I don't know what the Mawasaurus is. Is it Mawasaur? The Hoofinosaurus. It's like a little dragon. It's a hoof. Hoof dragon. Uh, oh, it goes for all of its attacks. Damn. Okay. Uh, so I can go for one, two, three, and then two reserves, and that's it, because you, Moon, is good against the Hainosaur that's coming in. Yes, look at you. You're gonna go for... You could go for four. Yeah, don't go for four. And we're just gonna chomp on you and kill you. Yep, nothing you can do there. I mean, look at that damage, man. Oh, not even a chomp! It was a, it was a headbutt. Yes, we've gotta slow down this animation. <laughs> Weird. I would have, would have thought they would have put Megalodon and Mosasaur together to make a hybrid, but they didn't. Interesting. They put um, the Dunkelosses. And yeah, the, the most common one. It was like at the back. And 2,900 for another spin? I'm good. Thank you very much. And there you have it. That's probably going to wrap up the video because I've pretty much done everything. There's nothing really much else to see. But what will I take away here for the video? Do not get Giga. It is a waste of time. And it probably won't get buffed because very rarely, if ever, the creatures get changed so it is what it is but it's cool to see and a little bit of factoids about it which don't really make much sense it's what you expect from Jurassic world the game kind of fella <laughs> but anyway guys disappointing hopefully i would love to see giga boosted i really would that would be my recommendation if they're watching just change it make it good because it's the giga for god's sake and you've made it bland and boring brown it would look so good with its regular colors and then the spikes and stuff you added on but anyway, anyway rant over if you enjoyed this video guys leave a like and until next time i'll see you cuties later oh bye bye